guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another monthly reset these are my favorite videos to film it holds me accountable but i also love watching them as well and gaining inspiration and just being a little bit nosy into what everybody else is working on whether anybody's in alignment with me and yeah, I'm really, really excited to film this video. Just to preface, I am filming this on the 27th of March. I always film my reset videos a few days early just so that you guys have them prepped ready for a new month. But not only are we walking into a new month, we are walking into a new season. We are walking into a new quarter. So it's even more of a reason just to sit down and really assess where you are against what you set out that you wanted to achieve for 2023. And that's definitely what I've been doing this morning is just really sitting with my goals, my vision board and just understanding where I'm at, what progress do I need to make, where are the potential gaps, maybe where am I over or underachieving and just double checking that every goal is still in alignment with what I want to achieve this year. So if you do have a goal board, if you do have somewhere that you've written out your goals for the year, I just want you to take a moment and check back in with them goals and just see if they still feel aligned to you because there are months that I do take goals off there are months that I add goals on and it just depends on the direction and the course that 2023 is taking me on. So I invite you to grab a drink, grab a pen and paper. I'd love for you guys to almost treat this video as a watch in the back, a little bit of a nosy into my goals and whether I've achieved them, what I'm working on, but also just to kind of maybe have in the background whilst you set your goals as well and whilst you navigate how you're feeling as we walk into a new chapter, which is April. Before we dive into March and April, I want to say as well, if you haven't yet spring cleaned and decluttered ready for spring this is your sign to go and do it i have done a huge declutter again i've cleaned the house i bought myself some nice spring flowers and it's just really welcomed in this new energy for april april to me and spring is all about blooming it's about blossoming it's about really stepping out of your comfort zone and just Taking things a little bit further, I always find for me, I have seasons where I grow and seasons where I go into like hermit mode and I really focus in on myself, get things done. And I do feel like I flow with the seasons as well. So winter for me is always like a heads down season where I'm really focused in on like finances and getting life admin done and just getting things done. And then I always find like the spring summer months are really where I come out of my shell. I take on more opportunities. I do more, I experience more and I blossom. So I would really encourage you guys to welcome in this new season, declutter anything that you don't need, that's holding you back, that doesn't serve you. And you can make money. Like you can get these things on Vinted. You can get these things on Facebook Marketplace or Depop. Sell any unwanted things that you don't use. Donate them. Make sure that they go to a good home home but for me I always find a monthly declutter and just getting rid of things that I don't need makes me have this fresh energy every single month and just feel so much better and this doesn't just go for the things in your wardrobe and the typical items you might be thinking of do you have things like sauce bottles that are gone there's nothing left do you have toothpaste that's literally at its wit's end there's nothing else you can get out of it do you have candles that have burnt down that you can't use anything like that that you just need to get rid of that is just cluttering up your space take a moment and just declutter and if you do want a guide to follow on this i have got the glow up guide i will put the discount code back on which is review 20 you'll get 20 percent off the guide and it's a 65 page guide of decluttering your life leveling up and glowing up getting clear on your intentions and also setting new habits and being accountable with those as well so we do have a whatsapp group you will be invited to the guide is under 10 pounds and for me, I love doing my my habits, my monthly declutters with alignment to the glow up guide as well. It's a really good guide for just something to have as you kind of navigate through a glow up. So I'll pop the link in the description if you want to join us. And yeah, like I said, review 20 will get you 20% off. It will make the guide under 10 pounds 
to glow up for this new quarter and this new season. With that being said, let's get into the video. We're going to start with the March and April reflections and goals. We're then going to move back a little bit and just really look at my vision board, make sure everything still is in alignment. And then we're going to finish off with some monthly favorites and just things that I've been loving this month that I would love to share with you guys as well, because I'm aware that this kind of audience might not be my usual vlog audience. So I still want to show you guys what I've been loving as well. So if you haven't already, pause this video, grab a brew, grab a drink, get comfy, grab a pen and paper, and let's dive in to the April reset. Getting the trusty black book out for my goals. I've loved recording my goals and my reflections in this book because it's such a good way to look back on it every single month and just see how I've been going. One thing that I also added in last month was a tracker for my social media. Now, for some reason, I forgot to log February. So I've gone through my insights over the last 30 days just to see whether I've gained or lost, what my growth was and what the figures were. So we actually had some really strong growth across some channels and some plateaued, which my personal Instagram has been plateaued for the longest time. So if you do want to connect with me over there, I would love it. I still post all the time, but I just find that it doesn't really grow at the moment. So my normal Instagram went up by two followers. Love that for me. My Breakthrough Society Instagram went up by 381 followers, which is such a win for me. We're now at 4,583 followers. My personal was 14.2 but with three off 14.3. So if three of you want to come follow me, that would be amazing. Then TikTok, we had some really strong growth. So since January, I've actually gained 3,678 followers, which has now brought my total to 3,714 followers on TikTok. And then YouTube, I've gone up by 43, which is quite average for me. It's usually between 27 and 50 a month which has taken me to 3,746. So we've definitely had some strong growth across some platforms and then not so much across others. So definitely something for me just to be mindful of and just made me look into analytics, see what was working, see what isn't. I always say to people, lean into the evidence, lean into the evidence because a lot of us just take things at face value and we don't then dive into the reasons why it might have happened and how we can either prevent it, stop it, grow it and learn from it as well. So I spent some time with my analytics just to see what videos worked well, what didn't, maybe why. Maybe it was the times that I posted as well. So really been diving into that just to see where we can maybe see some growth in April. And now reflecting on March as a whole. So I'm gonna go through each of the goals and then tell you whether I hit them or not. So my first goal was to post two times a week on YouTube, which I hit. I'm very proud of myself because it's been very overwhelming this past month. There's been a lot going on, but I, I told myself this was gonna be a priority. So every time I found myself thinking, oh, I'll just do one, I stopped and I was like, Jess, you've said this is a priority, you can do it, and just really push myself to do it. One thing that I won't do is post content for the sake of it if it's not good, but I know for me, it was just a little bit of lack of planning out my time and then getting overwhelmed with like Mother's Day and stuff. I stayed true to it, we did it, and we uploaded two times per week. Number two was upload two to three times on TikTok, which I haven't done, but I have remained very consistent. So I've done it as kind of like a minus and a tick because I have had some phenomenal growth on TikTok. The videos that I am sharing are doing well and I didn't want to fall into the loop of just creating random content for the sake of it. So yeah, it's kind of a one and I didn't hit it, but I'm not too mad about it at the same time. The third one was upload twice a day on the breakthrough, which I definitely haven't done. Some posts that I did post went really, really well. We had a viral post, which was a really nice thing to have, but I've not been posting consistently. And that's probably not any reason other than lack of planning. So it's something I really need to look at for April. Number four was achieve 70 in my travel business, which I didn't hit. And I think with this goal, because it's been on here for 
two resets now i'm really going to just pause assess and just really double check that goal is it in alignment with me what have i actually been doing it's not grown at all since i've set these goals and just really assess maybe where my energy is going whether I need to redirect my energy and also why there might have been some resistance in taking the steps to achieve that as well. Number five was read daily, which I haven't done daily, but I've definitely improved my habit with reading. So I'm gonna make sure to focus on that in April, but I haven't managed to do it every single day. Number six was develop a strong morning and evening routine, which I definitely feel like I've done. Just subtle changes, subtle boundaries as well, such as not being on the phone until I fall asleep. Just little things like that have really allowed me to add a lot more new habits into my life in March and really focus on the things that I claimed to be a priority. So I feel like I've definitely done that one. Number seven was go back to the gym. Your girl has done that and honestly, I feel like I've nailed it. I am pushing myself at the gym. I'm not just turning up aimlessly anymore. I'm really trying to push myself. I'm really trying to push forward and I feel proud of myself. I really feel proud of myself. Number eight was cut out chocolate and fizzy drinks, which your girl did this for three weeks straight no fizzy drinks, no chocolate, made sure I got water in every restaurant. I'm so proud of myself, I'm not gonna lie. If you guys don't know why I didn't end up doing it for the whole month, the reason was I originally set out the intention to give it up for Lent, but the drive behind it was to prove to myself that I didn't need those things. So I felt like I got to a stage where I realized I didn't need them. I wasn't craving it, it wasn't a necessity, and it had already served its purpose. So I stopped cutting it out just to allow myself to enjoy little treats here and there. And especially for things like going out for dinner, I just, it didn't feel right to carry it on for the full 40 days. Number nine was drink two liters of water, which I definitely feel like I've done thanks to this. This is gonna be in the monthly favorites, but that has helped me drink so much more water. And obviously going to the gym has really helped as well because your girl needs water when she's working out. Number 10 was plan meals and eat better. I definitely feel like I've done that. I've been really planning my shops. I've been trying to make sure I make dinner and also leave some for lunch. I've been making sure that meals are prepped for when I go into the office and things. So I feel like I've done a really good job on that. Number 11 was start my new position as a director, which still feels a little bit crazy to say, but I feel like I have really found my feet now. I feel like I've found my groove. I'm still working a few things out. Obviously, we're only like three or four weeks in, but I feel really, really happy that I took this on and so far, so good. Number 12 was more friend dates, which I've definitely hit. I have had a lovely Mother's Day. I had some plans with friends. I've literally just had my best friend stay over. We did a little spa morning. We went for a wholesome walk. We went for breakfast. We went shopping. I've had lots of little friend dates. And if you've watched my vlogs, you will have seen some of them. I met Moll. We went shopping. We went for lunch. And it was just really nice to have some girl time because I am somebody when I'm focused, I am really focused and I get really protective of my energy and who it's going to and it's just felt nice to have a little bit of fun, have some nice meals out, spend some quality time with the people that I love and... Yeah, I'm really glad that we hit that one in March. Number 13 was structure my days better, which I definitely feel like I'm getting a hang of. It's still a little bit of change. I've taken on a lot of new things recently, so I am still adapting, I am still learning, but I definitely feel like I've added the structure back into my days. So I'm really happy with that. And then number 14 was 50 sales on Etsy. And I didn't hit that one. We're currently at 21 but I haven't actually really pushed it. I think because I pushed it originally at the beginning of March for the Glow Up Guide, that was the reason for those 21 sales. But I feel like because it's something that I'm gonna push once a month, I'm probably gonna expect quite a constant flow at like a key point in every month, if that makes sense. So I'm not too mad about that one. And then some key highlights for March were starting my new position, Getting invited to Morocco. So in three days time, I'm gonna be in Marrakesh attending a luxury girls retreat. There's so much planned and I'm so excited. I literally only booked on last night and booked my flight. 
but I'm actually going to be speaking there as well, which has given me a really great opportunity for business and also to learn about business retreats myself. So I'm really, really excited to be going on that trip with Lucy. Lucy's organized it at Rise Retreats and yeah, your girl is going to Morocco in a few days. So I'm really, really excited for that. The friend dates was a really, really big one, which I've already mentioned. Consistency on platforms. I think I've really nailed that and I feel really proud of myself. Obviously, I've grown on TikTok, YouTube and The Breakthrough. I also delivered a guest speaking masterclass in somebody's mastermind, which felt really, really cool and pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I actually got some new collabs as well through Instagram and TikTok, which again is very exciting. And I've been earning commission through TikTok as well, which has been a real nice just additional income stream. I feel like I'm on top of my days, which is another win. And also I launched a masterclass called Launch Like a Boss, which went amazing. It went so, so good and just reminded me of exactly why I do what I do and why I love the Breakthrough Society so much. So I feel like March was a really good month overall. There was a lot of growth, a lot of just, I guess, breakthroughs. I feel like I've really progressed in March. So I'm really, really proud of myself. And I'd really encourage you guys to not only reflect on your goals, but just try and pick out some key wins, pick out some key focus areas, and just see whether there are some focuses that need your attention. For me, small habits are a big one. I feel like I've made progress on a lot of the bigger things, but just the small habits that if I can nail them, don't even require that much energy. I really need to just place some focus on those and keep going. So it's a good job I've got the glow up guides to help me through. But we're gonna go into April goals. And like I said, when I was approaching these goals, I really took a step back and just looked at my yearly goals by quarter. Because we are now entering Q2, I really wanna look at the next three months and what needs to happen right now to allow those three months to be successful and in line with my overall vision as well. So one thing that I will do as well is just review my vision board and I might bring you guys a little bit of an updated one in the May reset, depending on the outcome of it because I feel like now I'm really back on my feet and I'm really kind of making progress there's probably some things that maybe want reviewing or refreshing or updating. So I'm definitely going to do that as well over the next month. And it's not something I like to just do. I like to spend a lot of time with it. So hence why I've said popping it in the next month's video. Sorry, we've decided to sit back because my back was really starting to hurt. So, so my first goal for April is continue posting two times a week on YouTube, which I do feel really confident on. I'm currently filming multiple videos now just to make sure that I have the uploads ready for when I'm away. So I know I'm definitely making it a priority and confident we're gonna hit that one. Number two is post consistently on TikTok. So I have removed the two to three times a day element because for me, posting good content is better than a lot of not so good content, I guess. Number three is implementing a clear structure across everything. So I feel like I've got my day focuses quite well, but I have a lot of different pockets of focus areas. So I want to make sure that they all have like quite a clear structure to follow. Number four is relaunch the Online Income Academy. This is my online academy, my online course to help people unlock passive income. So we go through memberships, eBooks, digital workbooks, how to build an online course, how to sell them. And I go through everything from mindset to launching to selling. And I wanna relaunch it because it was meant to be a focus when I was in America, but we're not gonna go into all of that because that's a separate story and basically the passive element never got set up. So I'm really going to focus on that in April. Number five is experience more life and more opportunities, which I feel like kicking off the month in Morocco is definitely going to kickstart that goal. Number six is pay off my coaching. So I've got one more payment until I have paid off my £7,000 that I paid to my coaches. Number seven is start therapy. And if you guys have watched my vlogs, I've probably been putting that off for the past two weeks and it needs some focus. So in April, I've put it as a goal to start therapy. Number eight is hitting those 50 sales on Etsy, which I do think is going to be a push. 
but we're going to push for it. So if you want to grab a glow up guide and help a girl out, feel free, but there is no pressure, of course. Like, please don't feel pressure on that. Number nine is hit 3,800 subscribers on YouTube. And I really want to push for an average of 500 views per video. I feel like for the subscribers I have, my views are actually really low. And again, it comes with just diving into my analytics a bit more and just seeing where the opportunities are for growth. But I really want to focus on that in April. I would love to hit 5k on TikTok as well, which I'm kind of confident will happen, but we shall see. Just got to keep posting consistently and making sure it's good content as well. Number 11 is unlock more passive income. I really want to just bump my income up a little bit more. So just looking at opportunities for passive income, things like affiliate links, doing wish lists, uh, TikTok commissions, all those kind of things. Just really look at heightening that and making it a focus in April. Number 12 is more family time. It's really, really important to me. And since I lost a friend in March, it has really put a lot of things into perspective. And I just want to make sure that I'm giving the people I love the most my time because I was definitely reminded that life can be a little bit shorter than we planned. And it did put a lot into perspective for me. So spending more time with my loved ones and my family is... A really big priority in April. Number 13 is give more love to me. I feel like I deserve a lot of love from myself at the moment. I have been given to a lot of people recently and obviously my job is to give as a coach and as a mentor. I give a lot to other people and I just want to give a little bit back to myself and again I feel like Morocco will really give me some of that time back, being on a retreat, doing yoga, and um, having some really luxury quality girl time as well, which, yeah, I feel like that will be the first step in April, but I really do want to give myself just some more love, spend some more time with myself, go on solo dates, like, get to know me a little bit more, because I feel like sometimes I forget. Number 14 is boundaries. I need more boundaries. I am... And have always been that friend that is just so readily available if people want to pop around, if people want a rant, if people want something doing. Like, I just feel like I'm always available and I do need to protect my energy with that as well because I'll be no good to everyone if I run myself to the ground. And yeah, I just think having some boundaries is going to help me achieve my goals, be happier, healthier, be better quality as well when I do spend time with people. So boundaries is number 14. Number 15 is, instead of reading daily, I've said consuming new knowledge daily. I'm loving reading and I will show you my monthly favourites as well. I really love reading, but I do notice that when I beat myself up for not being consistent with reading, that day I could have listened to a podcast, watched a YouTube video and actually consumed so much more knowledge but then I'm beating myself up because it wasn't in book form. So I am just focusing on consuming the knowledge daily rather than reading and being so specific on like the form that I read or that I consume that knowledge, if that makes sense. So that was number 15. Number 16 is continue with my fitness journey because I'm enjoying it. And I never thought I'd say that. Like I always have such a frictional relationship with fitness where I'm constantly doing it for a reason or to lose weight or to look better and this time I'm just doing it to feel better and I really want to continue that. And then number 17 is deliver a new masterclass. I love it, it gets my energy high and I really want to focus in for April on just doing what I love and doing what lights me up. So those are my April goals. Let's see how we get on in April. But I definitely think the theme for me is business and I guess just leveling up and pushing myself in every area because this is the month for blossoming. This is the month for blooming. This is the month for stepping out of my comfort zone and really acting as the woman that I want to be. So with that comes pushing myself in a lot of areas as well. And I'm very excited to see what April is going to bring. I am definitely looking forward to it. 
And then I guess just from a quarterly perspective, I do have some really, really big goals this year. So things like relaunching the Online Income Academy will really help me create a passive strategy to be gaining those passive sales in the background of my online course. Again, doing the same with things like Etsy, bumping up my affiliate commissions and things like that. And just really building in quarter two, all of the background income things so that when I do put effort into the other ones it's a much bigger cash injection because I already know the money's coming in in the background if that makes sense so yeah Q2 is going to be a big push definitely the theme is pushing myself and really I guess doing things that I've not done before so maybe looking at planning a retreat myself when I get back loads of things like that but that will probably come through in the May reset because I'm going to spend this month really just with my goals, really just assessing everything and obviously pushing myself. We've got a lot to work on as well. So, so that was April goals. And then March favourites. So as you guys will have seen, number one is my Stanley Dupe cup. I got this from TikTok shop. It's linked on my TikTok. All my socials will be down below if you do want to get one. But this has been a godsend. This is so easy to carry. It's massive. It fits in the car. This bit fits in your cup holder. And honestly, it keeps your drink cold for so long. Like there's no lukewarm water here. And also it keeps hot drinks hot, I think. But you're not going to catch me having this much coffee. I probably consume that much coffee a day. But I think I'm just asking for it if I put it in this cup because it's so big. But I just love this. It's so easy to carry. It's aesthetic. I just love it. I love it so much. So this is a monthly favourite for me in March. And then book wise, I am currently reading The 7 Habits of Highly Effective People. And also now is your chance. It's a 30 day guide to living your happiest life using the power of positive psychology. I love this book and I do really study this book. You will see it's highlighted all the way through because... I do believe with certain things you need to study them and this is definitely one of them but I'll leave a link to both of these books down below if you do want to purchase any because this one is definitely a meaty read but the lessons that I've already learned from this it makes it worth it. This one is very easy to read so if you are looking at just becoming more positive, having some steps to become more positive and live a happier life this book is amazing and it's giving me spring vibes so and it's giving me spring vibes so i'll leave this one linked below as well and then the other four products are actually beauty products because i have up leveled my beauty routine and it's made me feel really great so i'm gonna tell you what i'm loving and why number one is this refi dupe so it is a brow sculpting gel from primark it's called ps fix and sculpt it's three pound fifty and in my opinion, it's actually better than Refi. And I feel really bad saying that because it is a small, well, it's not a small business, but it's an independent business. And I've loved Refi for years. So I do feel a little bit bad saying that. But if you do want a cheaper alternative, you can get this from Primark for £3.50. Next up is the Made by Mitchell blusher. This is called Blush in shade Sweet Cheeks. It's a liquid blush. It's so pigmented. I love it so much. I link it in all of my TikTok videos, but I'll try and find a link for the description box for you guys. This is such a nice blusher and... If you haven't hopped on it yet, I didn't for so long, but the blusher hype is real. It makes you just feel so girly and pretty and I love it and love this shade. So that was definitely a favourite for me this month. Next up are my two new holy grails. I've spoken about these a lot, but the Iconic Radiance Booster is the most gorgeous, glowy, tan skin tint to either wear on its own or wear under foundation. This is amazing. I got this in shade Honey Glow. I will leave it linked down below. But if you haven't watched any of my makeup videos on TikTok, just see what this does to my skin. I've also done a Get Ready With Me on YouTube. And again, I use it. You can just see how it transforms my skin. It brightens it. It looks glowy. It's tanned. I just love it as a skin tint. And you can get away with wearing it as kind of like a light foundation. But... It's personally a little bit too light coverage even for me and 
I'm not even a foundation girl. I don't even like foundation really. So yeah, I'd say this is more of like a base layer than an actual face product, if that makes sense. And last but not least, the Holly Boone HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus Luminous Airbrush Foundation. This is my new favorite product ever. This feels like the most lightest weight foundation ever. It's not heavy coverage. It doesn't feel sticky. It's so soft. The way it glides onto your skin, this has to be one of the best products I've come across and I never switch up my foundation. For those who know, I have been a Chanel Vita Lumiere girl for years. Must be close to 10 years that I've used that foundation and we've switched and I don't think I will ever switch off this brand. I love this foundation so much. It's so lightweight. It just sits flawless and I got shade LF9W, which was a guess. It was a guess and it's perfect. It is such a nice foundation on my skin. So I'll leave a link down below for this because it's now stocked in boots. So you can get it on boots or you can get it on TikTok shop as well. But this has become a holy braille. And I do believe when you feel good, you, you act better, in my opinion. When you feel good inside and when you feel good and uh, you've got yourself ready, for some reason, I am so much more productive. I get so much more done. I get a lot of jobs out of the house done as well because I just feel ready. And for me, just having like my blush, all these products have just made me feel just better. And I know that sounds a little bit materialistic, a little bit shallow, but I do believe that when you get up, get ready, get dressed, you just, you're more prepared to go and tackle the world and just get stuff done. So those were my monthly favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's probably a little bit long at this stage. So everything that I mentioned will be linked down below. A reminder, you can use the code review 20 for 20% off the glow up guide. And yeah, really focus in on the next month. Get really clear on your intentions and what it is that you want to achieve. And I will see you next month for my May reset. It feels crazy thinking that May is going to be the next video. 2023 is just flying. But I'll see you in the next video.